Good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you all again this morning. In our true Bible story, we're going to learn about lying. Hmm. But before we start, in our true Bible story, we are going to pray. So let's pray. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the beautiful day that you give us. Thank you, Father, for our moms and dads. I pray, Father, that you would just bless each family. I pray, Father, for Sinead and Enric, for Luke Danielle, for Lizanne, for Liliana, for Elijah, for uh, Elijah and Zachary, Father, and for Julian and Christian. I pray for our whole class that you would bless them, Father, that they would uh, uh, listen and understand your story today. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Today we're going to learn about lying. Abraham lied, and sometimes when we lie, things happen that shouldn't happen. So God protects because God is patient with us. Let's find out what happens. Abraham decided to move to a new place called Gear. Abimelech was the king of Gear. Abimelech learned that Abraham and Sarah were living in the land. I'm sad to say that uh, Abraham lied to Abimelech when they met. Abraham said that, uh, that Sarah was his sister. He was thinking that they would kill him and take Sarah because these people did not love God. Abraham did not tell Abimelech that Sarah was his wife. He did not trust God to take care of him and to take care of Sarah. God is patient. God did take care of Sarah. In a dream, God told Abimelech that Sarah was married to Abraham and that he, Abimelech, should return Sarah to uh, Abraham. God helped Abimelech know the right thing to do. Early the next morning, Abimelech obeyed. Abraham told Abimelech that he was afraid and that's why he lied. Abimelech gave Sarah back to Abraham and he prayed, God is patient and God will help Abraham learn to, how to trust him. God is with you in everything you do. That's in Genesis 21, 22. God will help Abraham trust him even more. Now, Abraham and Sarah wanted to trust him. And guess what? Just when the time was right, Sarah had a baby, just as God promised. And the boy was named Isaac. And Isaac means laughter. God would keep his promise to Abraham and Sarah. And Sarah laughed. And so that's why they called him Isaac. God is patient and helps his people believe the promises that would send Abraham and Sarah a son. God keeps his promises. God helps his people to understand that Jesus saved them from their sin. God is patient. God helps people to trust him. God is so good to us. And that's the song we're going to sing. God is so good.